my name is Matt Butler. I'm with Eastern Engineering. And I am a HP certified technician. I've been with Eastern Engineering for 18 years. Now I will show you how to operate the touch screen. This here is your home screen and you'll see it has pretty straightforward options. You have print, scan, copy, and then you can view a job queue. First I'll show you the, the print option. If you hit that icon you have a choice of printing from a USB drive or you can print from a network drive if, uh, if it's set up by your IT department. If you hit USB drive you can see the USB drive and see individual files that are saved on there and then you can click on a file to print it. It's highlighted in blue and then hit continue. From here you can choose different templates on how to print the file. There is black and white lines, um, color lines, there's also mixed content in case you have a little bit of line drawing in images included and then image would be like the highest quality if it's like a photo or like a map. So you pick the, the template that you want to use and then over here on the right you can pick the number of copies. Also you can change the page order. There's also a collate option so if you wanted two copies you can have it collate into sets of prints. And then when you're ready to print you just hit the print button. It'll send it to the job queue. From here you can view the job queue and view the status of your print job. So here it's showing my file and this here is showing that it's preparing to print. It even gives you a preview of the file that's, that's about to come out. If you want to view the preview larger then you can click on that and you can zoom in on the, the file. You can even pan around and view the image. So now I'll show you the scan functionality. If you click the scan icon, on this screen you'll have different presets or templates to choose from and depending on the type of scan that you want to make. So here you'll see there's um, color lines and then black and white lines. There's also mixed content. Uh, there's also an image option in case you have like a photo or a map you want to scan. And you'll also notice that you can modify all these presets. There's a little pencil there in the corner of each one of these. If you hit that, you can view all the settings for these templates. So you can change the type of image that you're scanning. You can um, change the type of paper that the scan is made of. That helps a lot with the scan quality. So. Uh, you'll see there's different options for blueprints or translucent paper, uh, white paper. That's uh, actually a nice feature. It really helps to make a great scan. Also, there is options for the resolution. Uh, two or 300 DPI is a good setting to use. Uh, it doesn't make too big of a file and also has good quality. You can also choose the color setting if you want a uh, color grayscale. And you can also save your changes. You can change the name up here and make the preset with your preferences. Once you make the changes you want, just hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and select color lines for now. And if you look on the right hand side, you'll see different types of files you can create. The default is a PDF but you can also choose JPEG or TIFF. And by de default it scans to a single page PDF file, but you do have an option to scan to a multi-page PDF file if you like. And then down here you'll see there's a, 
a file name prefix so you can name the file that it creates. If you tap in the box, you can type in a name. Once you pick the settings and the file type that you want to use, hit continue, and then it'll ask you for the destination as to where you want to save the file. So on here you have an option to save it to the printer's hard drive if you like, or you can scan to a USB drive. Uh, you have an option to scan to an email. Uh, that will need to be set up from a technician or the IT department, and as well as there's a network folder that you can set up. So you can scan to a, a folder on the server, and you can also set up multiple folders on the network to choose from, so each user can have their own scan folder if you like. So for now I'm just going to pick the printer's hard drive, and now I'll go ahead and scan in a few drawings. Yeah, it is. Cool. When you go to feed in your scan, you want to make sure that it's face up and preferably you want it in a landscape orientation. You want to rest it on top of the scanner cover and there's markings on the cover to help you line up the print, but basically you want to center the print the best that you can. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly on the markings, just it's just a guide. So, what you want to do is feed it straight in until you feel it hit the, the rollers in the scanner and then hold it there for a second. It'll grab the print and then when you hit continue it'll scan the print through. It'll give you a preview as it's scanning the image. And you also notice that it cleans up the image after it's been scanned. It removes a lot of the background and imperfections in the paper. When you're ready to feed the next print through, you'll want to hit the release paper option in the very top right hand corner. That will eject the paper out the back. And then you're ready for the next scan. If you're doing a multi page file, it'll automatically grab the next one and start scanning it. When you're done with the last page, then you hit the finish button on the touch screen. And then it'll give you a confirmation that your scan was saved. Now I'll show you the copy function. On here on the home screen, you can click the copy icon. And this functions a lot like scanning to a file. You pick a preset that you want to use. Uh, you'll see that there's color lines, black and white lines and you can also modify these settings by hitting the little pencil and you can modify all the settings in the preset. Once you uh, select the settings that you want, you can choose the number of copies that you want. You can also use collated setting to print collated sets and change the page order if you like. When you're ready to scan, just hit the copy button and then feed your scanner with uh, the next paper. When, you, when you're ready to copy, hit the copy button on the lower right hand corner. And when you grab your scan, you want to make sure it's face up and preferably in the landscape orientation. Then you rest the, the scan on the paper cover or the you rest the scan on the scanner cover and you want to line up the markings on the scanner and basically you want to center the scan the best you can and then you want to feed the, the scan directly through the front of the scanner until you feel it hit the, the rollers and then the scanner will take the scan through and start scanning you also notice that on the touch screen it will give you a preview while it's scanning the image and you also notice that it will clean up the image and clean up all the imperfections in the scan.
Now I'll show you the job queue. Here's the job queue icon. And here it will show you the current job that's printing at the top. And then there's also a little pull down here that will show you the jobs that are coming up next. It'll show you a preview of the file that's printing or if you pull up a, a job in the history you can view the file before you print it. There's a zoom option so you can zoom and pan around and view the image. And there's also a, a historical queue so it'll keep the last 10 or so jobs in the history. That can be increased uh, as well. So you can go in and reprint a job that you did previously. You can hit reprint and even change some of the parameters. So you can change the number of copies. You can change the type of paper that's installed. Uh, you can change the destination if you like. Now if we go back to the home screen, I'd like to show you a couple options in the settings screen. So if you swipe to the far left, here you will notice that there is a optimized quality screen. So if you ever have any print quality issues like streaks in your prints or um, the, the print quality or the colors look a little off, you can go into the optimized quality screen and run calibrations to fix those issues. Uh, you can do a full calibration um, and it'll basically go through and check the print head and clean any nozzles that need cleaned. Um, you can also go down and just do a basic head cleaning and that will just clean the head without doing the calibration. There's also a color calibration you can ask it to do and a paper advance calibration. The paper advance calibration helps a lot um, if you ever get any kind of uh, horizontal streaks or banding as they call it on your prints that will help resolve any kind of banding. There's also a print diagnostic plot in the top right corner. If you print that it will show you the, the heads and show you if any of the nozzles are clogged or not. This is a great way to troubleshoot print quality issues because it will show you which colors are having trouble and then it will let you know if your cleanings are helping the issue or not.